Okay, hi, I'm, I am Ferran Recio. I am uh, the architect, one of the technical architects, yeah. and I'm working with Mopis during all the course hierarchy project, which is quite a long project that takes almost two releases uh, to complete. Now they are only two issues on CLR that will be pushed soon. And um, now it's the time to show a bit what it's this all subsections about and see everything that uh, it's a kind of project that has many small pieces all the time and they are work together now and it's a perfect time to show it. The roadmap it's uh, still ongoing because uh, in 4.5 it will be disabled by default. So users won't have uh, subsections enabled and the admin can enable the plugin itself so it can be used by teachers but it will be enabled by default in 5.0. This is because the new versions, we consider that having uh, everything by default, enabled by default in 5.0, it's more convenient than having in uh, 4.5, which is uh, uh, the last of the line on that version. This is a, a course. This is a standard course that any teacher can do. This, uh, In this case, it's uh, about paella, that one of the traditional Spanish dishes we have here. Uh, the main difference here is that we have, if we go a bit lower, we have some things that is collapsed here. In that case, I have in, in some of the sections, I have some elements that are uh, collapsed. In, this ca in that case, those are subsections. So I can do as any other section, I can collapse and collapse things. And this is the, the main UI we, you, uh, teachers will have when they display all the course in a in a single page so this is the, the this is what we expect from subsections so they are displayed as subsections so when uh and i can even uh, when i turn editing on then it's when the magic starts so here is where the changes came so for now it's just a collapsible thing but when we have everything here we can notice that the UI change a bit. So we have this kind of plus icons between activities and, and between sections and between everything, in fact. So we will have this kind of plus action. This, this is the new component that uh, wraps the, the typical activity chooser. So as you can see, when we have subsections, we have this add activity and resource, which is the typical activity but when we are in a section in a main section or between sections we have this kind of plus icon and when i click it i have these two options so it's now it's a drop down that allows us to add an, a regular activity that was the result of the ux research uh savvy do when we start a project and this is the final implementation and i can add a new subsection and will be created just he, uh, just with a single click, it will create with a new section, and then uh, later I can change the name. So that is what you expect from a subsection, but now it's working. The main difference between other course formats that have subsections is that I can take any activity, for example, this one I am dragging here, and I can put it for inside the subsection, of course, I can just drag it here and it will be moved. But I can also drag it in between subsections. So that this is the um, one of the magics that we want for the project. And it was somehow the reason why the complex get more complex. But in the end, we hope it's worth it. And uh, the trick is that subsections are indeed uh, an activity. So the pointer to the subsection it's a real activity inside that it's called subsection and can be disabled as any other activity plugin. So the, um, this is the, the magic be, behind the subsections and, and the design we, we do for that. So as you can see, that this, it's more like a text and media where all the cart is replaced by something that it's a section in this case. But the logic, it's more or less the same. It has many small patches to make it work in all the places, but the but the final implementation it's somehow an idea of a text and media but with subsections on it. Then continue with that. The new thing we introduced in 4.5 was the ability to have a page page uh, section page. Sorry, 
So if I go to any section, for example, this first one, I can go to view, and this is the section page itself. So it's taking a bit too long. This is the ah, now. This is the typical demo effect. So I can go to a single section page uh, using this menu, and it happens exactly the same with the subsection. So each subsection has its own view link. So I can go and see only one subsection also, and I can. And the good part of it is that, as as I mentioned, this project is the typical that has many tweaks, many small tweaks. So if you can notice on the breadcrumb, it's representing the course, the parent section, and also the subsection. So it's it's not faking because it's a hierarchy in the end, but it's it's displayed also here the the hierarchy. So this is quite different from what we have uh, before before this release. Let me check what more. Uh, and here's where the complex part starts because subsections are an activity, but they are also a section. So we need to figure out what happens if I just hide things. For example, I in this case, I hide the subsection and all the activities inside the subsection are hidden. It's quite nice, it's okay, it's working as expected. That's not a problem. But uh, the hard part starts when instead of hiding the subsection, I hide the Pattern section because it will hide everything inside, and I have a subsection here, which by default uh, would have some option to show it and start doing with the stealth and this kind of stuff that will make everything super complex. So uh, the final decision was to simply remove the option. You cannot hide or show a section that is inside the hidden section because that will drive us crazy with the complexity which I think simplifying the course page, it's always a good thing that I hope this works for everyone. For the inner activities is the same, so it's not a problem in that case, but if I show the parent section, everything will go show again, it's nice. And it happens the same with uh, availability restriction. You can have availability restrictions on the, on the subsection also, and the access is controlled also by the parent section. So this kind of stuff, we, we try, the, the, it's, it's this kind of project where, where we start finding new things, you know, <laughs> each time we implement something. And that's many places where we integrate the subsections. For example, if I go to the move, this move here, it's that modal that we implement in 4.0 to move a section. Now it's re-implemented partially to have all the subsections and have all the logic for the subsection, so I can move things around here. Um, we try to, to to find every place where sections are represented. For example, in the report area, when we have the activity report, for example, this also rep represents the course. So we do the same thing. We implement the subsections here, so it the teacher can view the course as, as it is and not and not with with weird structures having the hierarchy lost, and it and it we try to detect everywhere where we find out, and mm, probably in five point zero we will find new places to do <laughs> where new places where the subsection will appear. But at least it's a good start for the for for subsections in Moodle. For example, the outline report it's also adapted to have subsections, uh, and even if I go to course reuse, I, I check this is taking longer than I expect. Okay. If I go to backup, it's also representing data structure. Uh, for one of you that knows how the backup works uh, under the hood, you you will know you will know that it's not easy to implement new things, even if it's super reliable. It's not meant to be implemented this uh, extended this way, and because the reading the structure of the course is affecting the UI, which makes everything more complex than it should. But it's also represented here. Th this this UI, for example, needs a bit of a bump for later versions. But this is the first version that it's working fine with all the subsections represented as the structure. And I would say that's it. We added subsections also to the course index here. So I can have my parent section here and my 
in our subsections here uh, because now we have more indentation on the course index we need to remove those movie unnecessary icons we have on the course index we have some necessary icons like the drug and drug elements and this kind of stuff that we remove it to make it more clear but the course index remains almost the same just with the subsections on it but it's quite nice <laughs> 